Well, then I get to the, the first sector I would like to discuss. It's every business. Um, most probably this wouldn't, this isn't surprising you that the first one is every business. It's an important sector for the Netherlands, an important sector for Colombia. It's an important sector in which a lot of trade takes place. A lot of the bananas, uh, coffee, uh, flowers that are produced in Colombia, they enter, enter the Europe through the port of Rotterdam. So it's an important sector for both countries. It's also uh, a sector that in Colombia is, is, in, is changing. Uh, let alone the free trade agreements that Colombia has with the United States that entered into force uh, this month. They expect the Colombian export to, to the United States, the agricultural export, to increase with 10% only in the first year. So, a lot of change. That also means that, that you have other clients with other requirements and standards. So, which means that Colombia has to improve on productivity, efficiency, sustainability, all fields with which the Netherlands, with which the Netherlands has already had a lot of experience in the past. So, to give you an example, uh, my last visit to Colombia was in, was in April. And then I also got the chance to, to visit a tomato grower just outside of Bogota. Um, and I have to say I was quite impressed. It was a very big tomato producer with almost 500 hectares of uh, cultivated ground, a wealthy group of investors, and a very serious aim to export their tomatoes. Um, but to do so, they, they have to cope with the standards of other countries, standards that are normally higher than for the internal market. And they have to improve on productivity. They have to limit quality variations. You can't, cannot sell uh, different types of tomatoes in the in the in, in, in other countries. You have to to watch uniformity. They have to implement a system to 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 make the to make the whole product productive process traceable. So uh, in the end, they are now considering buying. Uh, Dutch greenhouse technology and packaging machines. Well, this is an example of how the Dutch and the Colombian uh, companies can help each other. Well, the second sector, which is most of all very important for Colombia, is the oil and gas sector. Um, well, for the Colombian, Colombia is very rich in natural resources. For the Colombian government, oil and gas is a top priority. Um, they set the goal to increase uh, exploration and product production of oil to 1.4 million barrels a day in 2020. So that's almost twice as much as, as it is today. So that's quite an ambitious goal. And to be able to reach that goal, they have to uh, attract foreign investors. They have to buy a lot of technology from other countries to make the production process more uh, efficient, more, more pro increased productivity. So there's also a, a, a relationship between Colombia and the Netherlands. The Netherlands has uh, developed some technology for gas, but also for, for oil that is well applicable in Colombia. Well, the third one um, is infrastructure. It's actually related, related to a lot of, of the other sectors because more more export also means more transportation. And well, the, the problem Colombia still has is that it ranks very low on the International Infrastructure Index. Uh, if you look at all countries in the world, Colombia is a place 97. Well, for a company like Colombia, a country like Colombia, uh, that is increasing so rapidly uh, worldwide with its trade, that's an enormous barrier. So infrastructure has to be uh, improved, modernized, and in some cases even developed. Well, that's, there are mentioned some ports that are being or developed or modernized, but there are also other ports like Cartagena or Barranquilla, ports that are already established but are, have to develop themselves as well. Well, then yesterday I was at a seminar about the water sector, the water management sector in Colombia. I'll tell you something about that afterwards. But one of the points that was mentioned there is uh, internal transportation. So it's actually as expensive to, uh, to transport your product from Bogota to Cartagena or Barranquilla 
than it is from to ship it from there to Rotterdam. So imagine how hard it is, it is then to be competitive in, on the world market if your internal transport is already so expensive. So a lot of infrastructure like railways, uh, the use of rivers, uh, roadways, uh, highways has to be developed as well. And of course, mainly in the maritime field, the Dutch with all their expertise, Colombia with the unique possibility because it's the only country in Latin America with Pacific and Atlantic uh, ports. Well, that's, that's a very nice position. And the Dutch with their expertise, um, the port of Rotterdam, but also the port of uh, the, the other ports in the Netherlands, they have a lot of expertise and they can help Colombia to live up to its potential. Waste management. There are actually, you could say, the environmental sector is also a very important one, an important one in which the Dutch companies and also public entities have a big role or will have a big role in Colombia. First one is waste management. Well, the, um, the experts say that, that even up to 90% of waste is being dumped in, sometimes illegally, in Colombia. And the Colombian government also sees that it has to improve on this subject. And a lot is, a lot is, is, is being done to, to improve. Um, and the policy is moving towards the Dutch model, which is in the Netherlands is known as the Lansing's letter. Well, it's the, um, the idea is that you first try to prevent waste, then you try to reuse or recycle waste. And the first way is to use the energy content of waste. All of that is not possible, then landfill is the best option. And to that model, the Colombian government is also considering implementing this, this system. So that's also a sector in which the Dutch could have an uh, interesting role in Colombia. Or water management. If you, the people in our sector in the Netherlands promoting exports or promoting investments or import from Colombia, if you ask them about Colombia, the, the best known sector at this moment will be water management. Uh, following the, the floods in Colombia at the end of 2010, beginning of 2011, uh, President San Santos himself, he asked the Dutch for help. So, and afterwards there has been formed an official Dutch-Colombian water partnership um, in which Dutch uh, research, research institutes, uh, private companies, public parties, they are going to uh, support Colombian entities to improve on water management, so to prevent future floods. So that's actually the best known example of a uh, growing dutch colombian relationship at this moment. Well then there are two sectors left and I'm almost running out of time. So one of them is the medical sector. Uh, it was one of the questions in my quiz as well. Um, actually at this moment Colombia has five hospitals clinics that are in the Latin American top 20. Colombia in, vol in volume is the third market in Latin America after Brazil and Mexico. But it is very often considered to be the most advanced one. And maybe that doesn't correspond to your, to your own experience, but it's what the experts say. And um, there's a lot, of, lot going on in this sector. There's a lot of modernization of hospitals. Uh, legislation is also being enforced. Um, Colombia is also willing to be a very a world-class medical tourism uh, destination. So it's to people that are going, are going to, to the Far East now to do a surgery, they are coming more and more to Colombia. And the, the government, of course, wants to develop, the Colombian government, of course, wants to develop this even further. Well, on the last one, um, in all the countries we are active, this is actually my, my, my personal favorite, because it's such a dynamical sector. And it has so much to do with the development in Colombia as well. Because there are a lot of certain factors like <coughs> a growing and, and also young middle income class, uh, Western, consum uh, Western consumption pattern. Uh, but every day more women are working in Latin America, so that also uh, brings more money to spend on retail, uh, more shopping malls. Uh, are being opened every year. Um, well, there are actually some more factors.
but there are, that means that retail sales are growing very, very fast. And of course, that's something uh, because there is such a Western consumption pattern, people also want to buy Coca Cola. People also want to buy all kinds of products we have in the supermarkets in the Netherlands or in the US. So a lot of, of the food and also non food materials are being imported. <coughs> Well, the answer is to the quiz. I already told you that the last question might have to be number three. Um, well, the rest of it we already discussed. <laughs> Coffee. Coffee. Yeah, the question was, which is, uh, what is the place of Colombia in order of uh, mild coffee exporters? Well, if you're talking about mild coffee, Colombia is the first one. If you're talking about coffee, it's a whole group then. It's not the first one, but at this moment I think it's the fourth one. <laughs> well, and now we're counting details. <laughs> so just ask me for my business card. <laughs> okay, um, hey, after, the, after this event, we're going to send, uh, well, uh, we're going to send around the contact details uh, so you can uh, follow up and contact with that. Also the slides? Yep. Well, thank you. That's, uh, I, 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 I hope to have told you something about the most promising sectors in Colombia for the Dutch, but also uh, for Colombian companies, because I really try to, to, to see it from both ways. Thank you.